In the last classes, uh, we discussed about uh, how to measure the resistance, that is medium resistance, with stone bridge, all this, since we have stone bridge. Now we go for another classification of resistances, that is low resistance, Kelvin's double bridge also used to measure the low resistance, similar to potentiometer method. Potentiometer method is one of the method that we'll discuss when potentiometer chapter is running. Let us start uh, Kelvin's double bridge, after that uh, DAC bridges, Due to certain limitations of Wishstone Bridge that can be, cannot be used for low resistances, hence we go for Kelvin's double bridge. Two bridges we connected here. It, why it is for Kelvin's double bridge means it is the P is the capital P and the small p. Both the resistances are connected instead of leads. We are connected, unknown resistance is connected here. R and R is the small resistance that is connecting lead and a galvanometer is connected between B and D and p and small p the potential drop equal to how to calculate this bridge is uh, the balance occur when when there is no current in the galvanometer balance will appear when the voltage drop e a b is equal to this drop this is r and d when the potential is equal between small p and small capital p then there is no current in galvanometer similar to that this is the modified version of Wishstone bridge and provide greatly increased accuracy in measurement of low resistance. Why we call, why we use Kelvin's double bridge is to measure low resistance below one ohm only. The practical also we did in the previous videos. When potential across EAMD equal to when potential across EAMD equal to EAB, then there is no current in galvanometer. That is the bridge balance. Let us discuss how to calculate unknown resistance. EAB equal to EAC into P by P plus Q. EAB voltage across arm AB is EAC into P by P plus Q. After that, EAC equal to what is EAC? EAC in section AC, what is the voltage drop EAC equal to I into R plus P plus Q by R plus S. That is EAC equal to I into RS, R plus S and parallel combination of that P plus Q into R divided by P plus Q plus R. Now EAMD equal to EAM plus EAMD. If you substitute EAM and plus EAMD like that, IR plus I into R plus P plus Q plus R into P, that equal to I into R plus RP by, it is a cap parallel combination, you will get equation one and equation two, if you substitute EAMD equal to EAB, then if you equate and cancel the terms I, then you will get like this, this is, calculation will be like this unknown resistance r equal to if you send this into this side and doing so many calculations uh, p plus q p plus q get cancelled here p by p plus q into p plus q by q into pr plus qr like this unknown resistance r equal to finally if you do calculations then r equal to p by q into s plus this one we will get QV by QR by P plus Q plus R, P by Q minus Q by P. If the ratio is quite equal, P by Q is equal to small p by Q, then this term becomes zero. That means that the Kelvin's double bridge, small p and small q resistances are made equal. Then unknown resistance, P by Q equal to small, small p by small q, then unknown resistance are equal to P by Q by S. It is similar bridge, similar to Wishstone bridge, you will get equation. That is Kelvin's double bridge. Kelvin's double bridge balance outer ratio arms one for numerical problem we will discuss now. In a Kelvin's double bridge, balanced outer ratio arms are capital P and the smart capital Q are 100 ohms and 1000 ohms. Inner ratio arms are 99.92 ohms and 1006 ohm resistance of the link is or small small r is 
0 0.1 ohm standard resistance is like this calculate the value of unknown resistance is a simple numerical problem let us discuss now outer ratio ohms p equal to 100 ohm and q equal to 1000 ohm they given inner ratio ohms are small p and the small q is this one outer ratio arms are small p and small q given uh, inner ratio arms are small p and small q given and outer ratio arms are 100 and 1000 ohms are given resistance of the link is smaller is given as 0 0.1 ohm that is smaller standard resistance value s yes, also given 0 0.037 ohms calculate the value of unknown resistance this is the question that is problem given The unknown resistance formula is P by Q into S plus QR by P plus Q plus R into P by Q minus small p by Q. That is the unknown resistance formula by using Kelvin's double bridge. Then we can substitute all the values what they given P by Q and small p by Q also given. After substituting that unknown resistance value is 0 0.389 ohm. That is milli ohm. 3. 389 you will get milli resistance milli ohms means it is less than one ohm that is measurement of unknown resistance by using kelvin's double bridge one of the numerical problem